She's pregnant with her third child and has two young children at home as well as a hectic schedule of royal engagements. So it's no wonder the Duchess of Cambridge looked a little weary this afternoon as she delivered a speech at Rowe Green Junior School, Kingsbury, Northwest London on child mental health. The royal, 36, showed off her growing bump in a fitted blue maternity dress by Serpahan after arriving in a recycled Sportmax coat she wore while expecting Charlotte in 2015, teamed with a 95-pound scarf from Beulah London, Tanzanite earrings and navy blue heels. The Duchess was at the school to launch the pilot of the Mentally Healthy Schools website aimed at giving primary school teachers practical resources to help support the mental health of their pupils, coordinated and financed by the Duchess's Royal Foundation. During the launch Kate met teachers and pupils and joined a class taking part in one of the lesson plans featured on the site before giving a speech. The role of teachers here is absolutely vital, she said. You see our children as they grow, learn and play, as they build their social skills that will make the difference to their futures. You are uniquely placed to help children speak out about their mental and emotional challenges and direct parents and carers to the right support. The free website for schools is expected to be available to primaries nationwide in the spring after being monitored and reviewed. Former head teacher, Claire Thompson, one of the website's quality assurance advisors, said, I can see this website becoming a favorite go-to site for information about the many aspects of mental health. I think it is really important that all school staff feel that the information applies to them as well, not just to teachers. So, no matter what their role in the school, they need to have an understanding and empathy towards all the children. The website will draw together reliable and practical resources to improve awareness, knowledge and confidence in promoting and supporting pupils' mental health. The content will be provided in four main areas teaching resources, risks and protective factors, mental health needs, and a whole school approach for school leaders. The website aims to build on the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Harry's Heads Together campaign, which last year encouraged people to speak about their mental health problems or provide a sympathetic ear for someone with issues. William, Kate, and Harry are each driving forward a series of programs to ensure people can get access to the right help at the right place and at the right time, with the Duchess focusing on supporting young people. The Duchess brought together Heads Together charity partners, teaching organizations and mental health experts to create the online project. Hello everyone, and thank you to all those that I have met this morning, children and staff. Over the last two years, William and Harry and I have been honored to take part in a national conversation on mental health through our Heads Together campaign.
We know that mental health is an issue for us all, children and parents, young and old, men and women of all backgrounds, and of all circumstances. What we have seen firsthand is that the simple act of having a conversation about mental health, that initial breaking of the silence, can make a real difference. But, as you hear today know, starting a conversation is just that, it's a start. This is particularly true of the conversations that take place in our schools and with our children. I see time and time again that there is so much to be gained from talking of mental health and taking the mental health of our children as seriously as we do their physical health. When we intervene early in life, we help avoid problems that are much more challenging to address in adulthood. My own commitment is to the youngest and most vulnerable in their early years babies, toddlers and school children, and to support all those who care for them. The role of teachers here is absolutely vital. While you see our children as they grow, learn and play, as they build their social skills that will make the difference to their futures. You are uniquely placed to help children speak out about their mental and emotional challenges and direct parents and carers to the right support. You need resources you can trust. And you need to have easy access to them at all times. That is what this pilot is all about. LED by the Royal Foundation, with close collaboration from our Heads Together partners, this new online resource will transform schools' access to high quality information and guide teachers and school leaders towards the best support out there. The ambition is to roll this website out this year, so it's available to every teacher in every primary school in the UK. The ultimate goal is that all teachers in the country should know where to turn for expert resources to support the emotional well-being and mental health of children in their care. I would ask each of you here today to work with the foundation to develop this new essential resource. Please let us know what works, what doesn't, and what else you would like to see. This project has been collaboration from day one. It will only succeed if we continue to work together. Finally, I'd like to say a huge thank you to you all. We would not be here today without the help of our Heads Together partners, including the Anna Freud Center, PLACE2B and Young Minds. I am grateful too, to the Center for Mental Health, the National Association of Head Teachers, and the 50 schools taking part in this pilot.